back. Time now for pole position. Mark? Well, in an effort to help ease traffic jams, the Traffic Authority of Guangzhou in southern China's booming Guangdong province recently issued a proposal to charge a congestion fee to cars that enter the city centre during peak hours. Although it's still undergoing technical evaluation and hasn't been submitted for final approval, the proposal has sparked widespread concern, most of which has been negative. iFung.com carried out a poll asking, do you support the government charging fees to help relieve congestion during rush hour? Just 18% said yes, it's reasonable, and a huge 82% James said no, it won't work. Yeah, well, there's been plenty of comments about this, Mark, uh, and the result's probably not surprising. Uh, an anonymous uh, contributor wrote that solving traffic jams is a systems engineering problem. In other words, I guess road planning and whatnot. Uh, this person says that road planning and city planning should be adjusted to solve the problem. Another person wrote that uh, the city space belongs to the local residents. If the government wants to impose such a fee, I think it would be enough to impose it for non-locals. Interesting yeah. perspective. Uh, one other person uh, by the name of Dilo writes that a traffic jam fee might help adjust traffic levels, but no toll gates should be established at the edge of the city or it will simply cause more traffic jams. Yeah. Uh, this person says that we should learn from the Hong Kong example rather than the Singapore example because Hong Kong has more experience in traffic management. Yeah, Singapore actually thinking of, uh, of bringing in an, an intelligent road uh, scheme mm. where, you uh, where roads charge you as you dri drive over them. And now, of course, these congestion um, things have, have been brought into other cities. In London, when it was first introduced, they're very, very unpopular. But now uh, it's, it's been widened uh, significantly, and people, I think, are appreciating the lack of traffic in the centre. It's a question of whether or not it's effective or not, and that's what it comes down to. Uh, you know, China is obviously seeing a boom in car ownership, and along with that, I think there's a little bit of a backlash among pedestrians and, and cyclists. Uh, often we see motorists being what's, what I'd call borderline belligerent. They're parking everywhere. They're on the sidewalks. They're in front of fire halls. I, I saw the other day. They just park everywhere. And, uh, you know, I, I think over time we might see um, more, more restrictions and more rules being applied to motorists.